If you live in modern Western society, then just about every day you're being bombarded with propaganda which is designed to imprison your mind to hold you down so that you don't live the life that you desire. And a big part of that propaganda comes from Hollywood. In this video, I'm going to give you a particularly egregious example of that that I just ran into recently. I'm going to tell you why they do it and what the effect is that it's having on your life. And most importantly, I'm going to tell you how to avoid it. If you've been following my channel, you know that I'm all about helping you find freedom in your life. And there's a bunch of different ways that I mean that. You can be free in a, a physical way where you're free to do whatever you want. You don't have government regulating everything that you do. Uh, you can be free financially. But what people don't think of often is mental and spiritual freedom. And there are a lot of forces that are competing to own your mind. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can be imprisoned mentally. And you might not even recognize it, but if you want something greater with your life, well, it's really hard to do if, for one thing, you don't have the faith that you can do that. That's one way that you can be mentally imprisoned. If you believe that you're stuck uh, being imprisoned forever, or if you believe that you're not worthy of it. If you believe that you're not worthy of something in life, it's really hard for you to actually take the action that's necessary to go out and get that thing if you believe that you don't deserve it for some reason. The other day I happened upon this post on Facebook where Jason Momoa, who is a Hollywood actor, said that humans are a disease that is infecting this planet. And incredibly, the person who posted it on Facebook and all of her friends in the comments seem to agree with this sentiment. And this is an unbelievably horrible thing to let into your mind. You are telling yourself that you are unworthy to live, basically, that you are a disease, that you are something bad for your very existence, for the fact that you were born human is something that you should feel ashamed of, something that you should feel guilty about. This is something that propagandists absolutely love because if they can make you feel guilty, then you're pretty easy to control. This has been a psychopath tactic since the beginning of time, that if you can make somebody feel guilty, you can get them to do just about anything. They are putty in your hands. That's what they're doing here. And I say they, I'm not saying he, I'm not saying Jason Momoa because Jason Momoa is an actor. And if you've noticed, we as a society uh, lift up actors to the highest pinnacle of celebrity. They are the most esteemed people in our entire society. Have you ever wondered why that is? I mean, it seems a little silly, right? These people who pretend to be somebody else for a living. Why on earth would we have so much respect for those people? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we don't choose who the celebrities are. It's top down, it's pushed on us. And certain people love to make actors the most respected people in society because what do actors do? Actors are good looking, charismatic people who deliver lines written by somebody else in the most possible convincing way. So think about it. When Jason Momoa gets on the set of Game of Thrones and says the lines of Cal Drogo, that somebody else wrote for him. He does it convincingly in such a way that we buy into the illusion that he is this character, Cal Drogo. Then, when he gets off the set and does an interview on his own time and tells us that humans are a disease on the planet, we can be convinced that he actually believes that humans are a disease in this planet. Why do we think that he's acting when he's in Game of Thrones, but he's not acting just as much in the interview? Right? The powerful people of this world love actors. They love Hollywood because these people are the best in the world at saying other people's lines convincingly. And Hollywood has this enormous amount of influence. And anybody that, that is a public figure who is talking to you, who's providing content, always has an agenda. Hollywood has an agenda. The TV has an agenda. I have an agenda. It's no different for me. You shouldn't just believe what I say because some guy on the internet is saying it and saying it forcefully. You should recognize that I have an agenda when you're listening to me speak. I want to sell my products. That's part of my agenda. Now, I believe that I will sell my products better 
if I can make your lives better for free, and I believe that if you buy my products, then your life will get a lot better, so I have no problem being 100% transparent with the fact that my agenda is to sell products. Because I believe 100% that it's a win-win situation. If you want to know what I mean, check out the link to Digital Nomad University below in the description which is a course I created to show you how to make money from a laptop and travel the world. Anyway, Hollywood also has an agenda, and their agenda is not just to make you spend $10 at the movie theater to buy a movie. They realize that they have this enormous amount of influence, and believe me, they sell that influence to the highest bidder. They're not just going to let that go to waste for a $10 movie. And I don't know if Jason Momoa actually believes what he's saying here, he believes that humans are a disease on the planet, etc., etc., but this is a guy whose whole career is about saying things that other people tell him to say. So maybe he doesn't even know what he believes. It doesn't matter what he believes. But I can guarantee you whether or not he believes it, he is saying what he is supposed to say. And the agenda that's being pushed here, whatever you want to attribute it to, I guarantee you is not serving your best interest. And this is something you find in Hollywood all the time. It's somebody else's agenda being pushed onto you in order to imprison your mind. Because if they can imprison your mind, then you will support whatever system they want you to support. So think about what is it that you want to accomplish in life? What are your dreams? What are your goals? What are your visions for the ideal life? Now think about if you, if you truly believe that you're a disease on the planet just for being human, if you allow this mental virus to burrow itself into your brain, how hard are you going to work for those goals that you ultimately want for your life, right? What do you do with the disease? You eradicate it. You destroy it. So, if you are a human being and you believe that human beings are a disease, well, the logical consequence of that is that human beings, including yourself, ought to be destroyed. And by the way, I know somebody's going to say, oh, well, he's not saying we should destroy human beings. He should say that human beings should be better so we wouldn't be a disease anymore. And to that I say, look at the imagery, right? Do you try to get cancer cells to stop being cancer cells? No. You cut them out, you burn them out, you poison them, you destroy them. Do you try to get your HIV virus to stop acting like an HIV virus and start being nice? No, of course, you try to destroy it. That's what you do with disease, you destroy it. So by saying that human beings are disease, you are saying that human beings ought to be destroyed, including yourself. So if you truly believe that, if you've let this Hollywood propaganda infect your mind, then you are gonna be a seriously miserable person and you're never gonna accomplish anything. Okay, so what should you do about it? Well, the obvious answer is, Quit infecting your mind with this propaganda to the greatest extent that you possibly can. I mean, you can't block it all out. Uh, I saw this because I was scrolling through Facebook, which I don't recommend, by the way. Scrolling through Facebook's a giant waste of time, but I was scrolling through Facebook a little bit, and here this you know, presented itself to me. So you're just never gonna be able to filter everything out, but you can control your exposure a lot. You can quit watching Hollywood movies. You can quit watching mainstream TV, you can quit watching the mainstream news, you can quit watching the Ellen DeGeneres and Jimmy Kimmel and all these people in the world who are propped up by the mainstream system that is feeding this limiting propaganda into your mind day in and day out. And I'm not saying that all movies and all TV and all everything is horrible all the time. I'm just saying that there is a lot of this propaganda being pushed on you being pushed on you on purpose, I believe, and that you should be very careful about what it is that you put into your mind. And if you want to be successful at just about anything, you need to be putting more positive material into your mind than negative material. And there's a lot of ways to do that. One awesome way is YouTube. There's so much awesome positive stuff on YouTube that will actually help your potential, that will grow your faith in yourself, that will make you feel good about yourself uh, instead of feeling guilty, like I talk about in this video, all about how some people limit themselves like crazy because they feel like they're not worthy. That's what Hollywood is trying to push on you. They want you to feel unworthy, and they don't want you to ever get anywhere. They don't want you to free your mind. So. Watch my channel, I'll help you to free your mind. There's a million other YouTube channels that will help you to free your mind. There's a million books, there's podcasts, there's online courses, there's so many options. Get the garbage out of your head and replace it with something that's actually gonna be good for you instead.
And you might think that you're totally rational and none of this stuff is affecting you, that you can watch all this garbage TV or garbage news or and that it's not going to affect your subconscious mind, but you're wrong. No matter how strong you think you are, you just can't really control how this stuff you're putting into your head is affecting your subconscious mind, which controls all of your results in life, right? I don't care how smart you are, how strong you are. If you are constantly barraged with this propaganda about how you're not worthy because you're an evil human being or you're an evil white person or you're an evil white male, even worse, right? Then you're just not going to not going to get anywhere because you're going to have this subconscious belief that you're not worthy even if you recognize that it's all crap that it's all lies meant to hold held you down uh, it'll be a little better but still it, it, this stuff seeps into your subconscious so you are constantly being brainwashed by people who want you to follow an agenda and if you want to follow your own agenda instead of somebody else's agenda who does not have your best interest at heart, then you have to re-brainwash yourself with things that are positive instead of things that are negative. You can't escape being brainwashed, right? That's just the way our brains work. We, we accept the information that comes in. So if you want good things in your life, uh, instead of feeling guilty and miserable and unworthy and ultimately committing suicide, Right, because if you really believe that humans are a disease on the planet and ought to be eradicated, well, why not start with yourself? Really, that's exactly what these people are pushing on you. Well, then you have to take charge of your brainwashing. Don't pretend that you're too strong to be brainwashed. Be the one choosing the material that you're brainwashing yourself with. And if you need any recommendations for what material you can use to put positive, empowering thoughts in your head instead of these horrible negative thoughts that you're getting from Hollywood and from the media, etc., then check out my channel. I have a lot of content that, that will do the trick itself, plus a lot of recommendations, uh, a lot of books. Check out my course in the description below, of course. If you found this video useful and enlightening, as I hope you did, please take a moment to share it so that other people can benefit from it as well. Also, I always really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up icon because it makes YouTube like me better. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you get all my future videos. And if you want one of my recommendations for an incredible book that will help you free your mind, I highly recommend you check out this video where I tell you all about it.